Swift and Tips Podcast. Recently, I um, published an article. I'm writing articles now because I, I'm like like you recycling or reusing some some part of my content written now in in for videos. But I published something about uh, uh, stop or, or if MBBM in Swift UI it is really necessary because what mm. I'm seeing or what I, what I have faced in in my journey with Swift UI is that we are sometimes creating a, a, a view models for. Uh, something that maybe is not necessary or anyone could talk about uh, the definition of what is a view model, how to use MBBM formally. Uh, but anyway, mm -hmm. I got a lot of uh, mixed uh, comments. Some people saying, oh, great article. And some others, you are blah, blah, blah. So mm -hmm. why are you saying that? <laughs> blah, blah. So a lot of hate. Yeah. But I, and I know. Yeah, and I got part, part of the inspiration for that uh, article was from one of your articles about talking uh, about MB, uh, mm -hmm. MB pattern. But I would like to, to know your opinion. Mm -hmm. In your opinion, um, is, uh, what, what's your opinion about MBBM in Swift UI? Yeah, so I when I started with Swift UI back in when it came out 2019, I immediately kind of like jumped on MVVM, just like most of the people. I just jumped on the bandwagon without thinking. And I started creating a lot of apps, a lot of apps, like close to like 100, 200 different prototypes from different courses that I was building. And it always felt strange that when I have to create a view model just to add, just for the sake of adding a view model, it was not really providing much benefit. It was just an extra layer that could have been just used in the view itself. Um, and there were only few people at that time, I think it was like 2021 or something that were talking about that MVVM is not really the correct way, or it just allows you to add more code. And I think just like you, I read the, that article on uh, Apple developer forms, MVVM, you should not be using MVVM with SwiftUI. That's a very long article. And if you read the comments over there, they were, they were hostile comments. They were just rude and mean comments from people, but I didn't do that because that's not who I am. So what I did is I contacted the guy who wrote the article and I'm like, I am interested in learning more. I've been using MVVM for three years. I've actually written books on MVVM. I've presented on MVVM. I've done podcasts on MVVM, written thousands of articles on MVVM. That's me. And I want to talk about, because maybe I'm wrong. And we scheduled a meeting over Zoom and he is uh, he was very kind enough to show me all the stuff, talked about it, we talked. And after that, we you know, shared many different articles, we shared code. And I said, okay, let me create, recreate some of my apps to this new thing that you're talking about, which is basically Apple built-in framework. And let's see how it works out. And I started using it and it reduced a lot of burden, a lot of code for me. I mean, I can use environment object because with every single view using view model, it's just very hard to share global state. And and I was just creating layers and layers of view models, which was not really necessary. Um, so after that, I started moving. I Just like you, I also posted on Twitter like a long time ago. I think it was like 2022 maybe or 21. I don't remember. But And I got a lot of hate. Like even the DM people were sending me were hate. Uh, wow. Like you don't know anything. And like they were like they were literally DMing like me with like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? And <laughs> things like that. I'm like, no, I think I'm right. And I, I am on this, I've already used MVVM for three years and it was always a problematic, like things are not refreshing. That's the number one question, right? Hey, why are my things are not refreshing? So I don't feel, I don't uh, get that anymore from simplifying it. And now fast forward to 2024, a lot of people are talking about it. Uh, you know, a lot of people are saying that, yeah, this is already a built-in framework. SwiftUI is already a framework, so you shouldn't be wrapping it up with something else. Um, and there are many different flavors of MV pattern also. Like I think if you talk to uh, Ice Cube's creator, Thomas, he he's also moving in that direction, but he does everything in the view, which is perfectly fine. Uh, in the React terms, it's called the container pattern. Because there's just no logic. I mean, I mean, there are some logic in this his code, but that is inside the models itself, or he like to call it model or store, whatever he wants to call it. Uh, but the actual presentation validation logic kind of like just exists in the view itself, kind of like React. 
Um, yeah. So now more, more and more people are quietly moving to that approach uh, and then realizing that uh, it's much simpler. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm totally agree with you. And, and, and I love one thing that you said that you has, uh, you have posted many articles, many mm -hmm. content, years of content yep. about MBBM and you are turning your, your, your opinion in, in a way of, okay, maybe I'm wrong. So mm -hmm. it's, that's really hard to say, right? Because you're yep. selling something and it's just like, oh, okay, maybe, maybe I'm not totally, totally right with this approach or mm -hmm. maybe that, that approach was in the past and yeah. now we can more confident we could say this is a better push so absolutely yeah. and but i don't know why people is not understanding that part so and just to mm -hmm. just to i will put a disclaimer here we are not selling any pattern any architecture architecture i mean the apple built-in system is not a silver bullet it has mm -hmm. maybe some some flaws yeah for sure but mm -hmm. the thing is is in my experience, for example, you see, oh my goodness, that was a really strong it's, yeah, thunder. It's, <laughs> but my, my daughter came to my room because I asked her an hour ago that, hey, just, uh, you know, uh, dress up, let's go to the park. And now she came, it's like, you want to go to the park now? <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah maybe it's not a good maybe. time right now. <laughs> Okay, yeah. so now I was saying that uh, when 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 I started using MBBM Sufu I, it's like uh, uh, I mean you can use it, but one of the biggest issues is not using the environment inside of of a view model, and yeah. it's part of the core pieces of Sufu I. Mm -hmm. And I got some people saying, "No, you can you can inject it." Yeah, but but you're it's losing hard. the point of. Yeah of what you have to do use with uh, the environment. So, and we are still treating the, the view hmm. as a view, as a UI view. Yeah. But now the problem is, is that we are declaring the, 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 um, the description of what is a, a view and I explaining yeah. that. So it is like, I mean, a Swift UI view is not the direct translation of what mm -hmm. you will receive because Absolutely. now with just one piece of code, you have multiple, User interfaces, depending on what is the OS you're you're executing that code. So mm -hmm. they're not like people. And and again, this is not more about people. It's more about the the way we create um, concept, and we don't want to go out yeah. there. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I think yeah, you made really good points because I think what most people do and and i think it's normal for humans to if we have spent so much time in learning something we just want it to be right all the time like uh if you search for surf ui mvvm i think on articles uh you, you probably will find my article will be on the top on medium which is like uh, mvvm and surf ui that should be on the top uh but i figured out or i learned that it is not the best approach even though mm -hmm. i've written like articles and I, I was talking at a conference about MVVM and Swift UI and created courses on it and videos and, art, and a lot of stuff, podcasts. Uh, and I think that it's like a, kind of like a sunken cost fallacy that we just have to invest time and maybe it will just turn okay if we just spend enough time in it. Uh, I think we have to let go of things, learn things in a new way, in a much better way. Um, and I think your, your comment about the views is 100% correct. The views in Swift UI are not the traditional UI kit views. They, they don't really paint pixels on the screen or do anything. They're just a declaration of what will be presented on the screen. And you can al always check it out. If you just debug it in the debugger, you can see in a visual debugger that uh, list is going to map to a UI collection view. A label is going to map to some other stuff, not, not like a, a text is not going to map to labels. It's going to be something else, like a drawing something. Uh, you know, the toggle is going to map to UI switch and these kind of things happening behind the scene. And I, even Paul Hudson said the same exact thing on the Bright Digit podcast uh, that there is nothing in the view that put pixels on the screen. It's just a declaration of what you want. So, exactly. you know, so that, that is, I think people will eventually realize once they start developing apps, because I think most of the people who are saying these kind of things are just very strict in their opinions they are they haven't really developed anything they're just saying just for the sake of 
putting a pattern in their uh, uh, framework or in their app. Yeah, yeah, totally. I I oh, I'm also suffering that in um, recently in my job. There was a discussion about oh, let's implement this big pattern because mm -hmm. we wanted to use it in multiple ways and things. And I just came and said, wait a second, is this an actual an actual problem that we have now? Mm -hmm. uh, no, but we'll have it later. No. We don't have a problem. So yeah. focus on the problem that you have. So make it well, yes. If we need a pattern, yes. But the context of what you need to solve should be this. No, but you need to fix a, a, a follow solid principle, blah, blah, blah. So it is like, I like to, or at least my, just my opinion. Again, mm -hmm. anyone has their own opinion. But we should follow a pragmatic way to, to make software. The software is... Is a, a tool for solving a problem, right? Mm -hmm. So, and and I know I'm I'm uh, uh, totally okay with uh, uh, the idea of making better code um, and, and following uh, good pattern, good practices. But at the same time, it's not just for the sake of it. It's just because yeah. it's making our life easier. And sometimes even a simpler code that maybe doesn't look like with the best. Uh, uh, architectural way, hmm. it could be better for introducing more people to the to the project rather than I don't know adding a, a complex architecture that will take months of wrapping up. I don't know. It's hmm. it's up to the project or the team to decide what is the best approach. But yeah, uh, yeah. I think yeah, the most important thing is be open to new ideas. Right, that's yeah. it. Be open to new ideas. Try out different ideas. When I was learning Sif UI. I obviously started with MVVM, like most people. I Then I tried out uh, the Redux pattern, which is coming from React and Redux. I tried out the container pattern coming from Redux, uh, coming from uh, React, then finally MV pattern. And now I kind of like fluctuate between sometime I will use a container pattern, like if the if the Swift UI is just an app which displays information from a server and nothing much business logic is going on, then I would just use that. Or the one I think you were also using, like an MV pattern, where you would create environment objects, and environment objects will provide the data to a, a lot of other views, depending on the app or depending on the screens. So it really depends in the end, but the, you have to be open to experimentation, or else you will never know what else is out there.